being a financial technology uh, company ourselves and speaking to a lot of those every day, it seems that there's a new trend emerging within the financial services sector, which is that the uh, companies that originally set out to unbundle uh, the universal bank's uh, value chain have actually grown to a point where they're no longer just a feature, they are themselves a very strong platform. And uh, those platforms now look to enrich their propositions with further propositions. Uh, and that is exactly what uh, the rebundling is all about. So rebundling can happen in three ways. Either uh, the platform company looking to rebundle can build that themselves, they can partner up, or they can go and buy a company that has the right propositions. In the scenario where they buy a company, um, there is a lot of synergies uh, embedded to that, or at least there can be. The operational synergies of taking that company and uh, linking it to the infrastructure of the platform company. Um, the commercial synergies of sharing commercial platforms and cross-selling, but also innovation synergies. Well, this comes in many examples. Uh, we've seen uh, Square shape up the Blocks group and add on uh, Afterpay. We've seen Klarna add on Stokard and Price Runner, and certainly we've seen Stripe uh, enrich their propositions. Remember, Stripe last year processed more volumes than the collective internet economy back in 2010. Uh, and when you have such a strong platform, uh, it is really meaningful to enrich it with more solutions to the customer. Typically, at least what we see is that these are the larger companies, the larger fintechs that have been successful, that have uh, managed to build a multi-sided platform and are now looking to enrich it. Well, I believe what's happening right now is healthy and, and, and meaningful. We saw the same thing in software 20 years ago. We saw how companies like Oracle, SAP, and Microsoft managed to build very strong platforms and add on additional solutions or applications to those platforms. That's exactly what we're seeing in the financial services sector right now. And I think that's healthy and very natural. Of course, we should be aware of not creating uh, overly diversified conglomerates uh, that will effectively have solutions that do not hang together or are not relevant to each other. So the trick really is to add on solutions that are relevant, that are complementary, uh, and where uh, there's synergetic uh, growth and operational opportunities to be, to be captured. I think, first of all, each company must evaluate their position as a platform, as a company that has solidified its position within its core function, um, and then think about what could relevant add-ons be on top of it, how could they be integrated, how could you read those opportun opportunities from it, the operational synergies, the, 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 the commercial synergies. Whether you choose to build or to partner or to buy, this comes down to execution. This comes down to the ability to add something something new and really make that count to, to customers. And, and that execution can be difficult. Well, in the Banking Circle Group, we have been doing some bundling, uh, some rebundling on our side. Originally, Banking Circle uh, did primarily payments, accounts, and uh, FX. Now, around that platform, which has now grown strong um, with flows of more than 250 billion euros, we have added uh, what we'd like to think of as an ecosystem around our core. Um, originally, first we added lending in the context of, of, of well, with ULEND, and, uh, and subsequently we've been adding uh, cards through the acquisition of B4B. Uh, we've been adding account-to-account -account payments through the acquisition of CIP Express, and most recently, uh, business-to-business -business buy now, pay later uh, with Billa. So we are looking to, to create an ecosystem of propositions that are relevant to our payment company clients, marketplace clients, and, and to banks as well.